part of the job of a philosopher, whether it's a lay philosopher like I am or a professional philosopher, is to look at problems in life, look at issues that arise and uh, think about, hey, is this moral? Is this is this good? What are you know, ethics, morals? What's the deal here? And so I overheard something at a, uh, a party last night that I was attending, and I overheard uh, a couple young men talking about minimum wage and uh, <clears throat> The, not in exactly those terms, but that's that's what I'm here to talk about. So the young man was talking about a time that he was working in the construction industry, and he was making however much money, and the non-English speaking Mexicans who worked with him were getting paid less. They were getting paid about two-thirds of what he was, and he said they were every bit as capable as he was. He quit the job because he just he felt that wasn't fair and it was wrong. So first of all, I, it made me think, uh, you know, as a uh, person interested in economics, um, I, I thought about it and, and, and I'm interested in what's right and wrong. And so first thing I look at is, is this guy wrong for having quit his job? Absolutely not. Uh, it appears to me that one of his higher values in life is fairness, that everyone uh, gets paid the same amount for the same quality of work output. Um, you know, if, if one person is assembling five widgets and the other person is as well, they should each be paid the same amount for assembling those widgets. And, and then I thought, okay, so this guy did nothing wrong. But I thought, is his thinking straight? Do I agree with his his way of thinking? Well, I can't really say it's it's right or wrong because values are subjective. His value, highest value is fairness. Mine probably above fairness would be more efficiency. Um, getting things done in this particular instance. So I thought about it. Is, is the owner of the company who is paying a person less, let's say the only factor was their skin color or their national origin. Maybe it's illegal, but who cares? Like we're talking about what's right and wrong, not what the suits say. So in the right and wrong question, is it wrong to pay one person less or more for a job than the other person. And why might an employer do that? And of course, I'm, I'm hoping you have or will uh, look at Walter Block's Defending the Undefendable. And he addresses this, this kind of thing in several of his chapters. I think it's not wrong of the owner to do that. I think it could be, depending on the owner's values and the Mexican worker's values, each of them kind of has the option to claim as their duty or job to, for the owner to pay as little as possible to get a good product and a good service, whatever it is. And then the employee's job could be to get paid as much as possible for what they produce. And for some reason, the white local kid was getting paid more than the Mexicans. Is this because he spoke English and the owner said, I place a premium on the ability to communicate clearly with me. If you can't communicate with me in, in my native tongue and in, in the primary tongue of the area where we work, or it could be a random choice. It could just be, hey, I prefer Chinese. And if nobody wants to learn Chinese, you're going to get paid normally. If you speak Chinese, you get paid twice as much. It's completely morally acceptable for an owner to place value on different aspects of his employees, if they smell good or bad, if they speak a particular language or not, if they have a deep voice or a high-pitched voice, absolutely okay for the owner to say, I'm going to pay based on these things. Now, again, I'm going to say what I said at the beginning, nothing bad about my acquaintance choosing to quit. He, he made a choice and he, he did so and nothing wrong with him quitting. But I'm going to argue that there's also nothing wrong and when I say wrong, what do we mean by wrong? When I say wrong, I mean morally wrong. And what's the first standard of this? Actually, the only real standard is violating the non-aggression principle, the NAP. Um, has the owner initiated violence against the Mexican employees? No. Has he initiated violence against the white local kid? No. Have the Mexicans initiated violence against the owner or the white kid? No, nobody's initiated violence against anyone else. So that, for me, based on my best ideas, perceptions, and the anti-subjectivism anti philosophy, I come to the conclusion that nobody has done anything morally wrong. 
Now we get into aesthetics. Which do I kind of sort of prefer here or there? And on the surface, I think, yeah, it'd be nice if everybody got paid equally, but not everybody produces equally. And it is kind of the duty of an employee to go to their boss if they feel that the way they're being compensated isn't acceptable. It is completely acceptable for them or their translator or their advocate to go to the boss and say, hey, you know, you're not paying us as much and we're actually working harder and we know more about the issue than the white kid. Um, we could see that language could be an issue, except we're not really client facing. We're doing construction work. We're we're all able to communicate about go grab that nail, grab that square, pound it in over here. Like we're not having a problem getting the job done. We're just as efficient. So we would like you to pay us more. They have absolutely every right to do that. And the boss has absolutely right, every right to say, no, I'm not going to do that. And as a matter of fact, I don't like you coming to me and asking. So my new offer to you, if you want to come back to work next week is minimum wage, you know, 10 bucks an hour or whatever it is, uh, you know, whatever the boss decides. And then the employees have the right to say, no, that's ridiculous. We can get paid three times more elsewhere. Or, sorry, boss, we'll never come to you and ask you for this again. Will you please keep us at the same? Those are all perfectly acceptable things. <clears throat> I am going to think that the boss is kind of a jerk if he says, just because you asked me, for fairer compensation in your perspective, from your perspective, uh, I'm going to fire you or did I have a right to do it? But I kind of think he's a little bit of a jerk if he did that. If they approached him with a reasonable, polite, respectful, hey, this is, this is something we think would be better. Will you please do this? Absolutely every right of individuals to have conversations, to negotiate with each other, no reason for governments to get involved. So no, nothing morally wrong with this. It's purely aesthetics and not everybody provides the same value to a boss as do other people. Um, and there are so many little things. It's, it would be impossible to make a list of all of the little tiny things that might be of value. For Here's an example. Maybe the white kid's dad is a, has a uh, uncle who has a lumber store and the contractor, the boss, wants to be on good terms with this extended family so that he can get a better contractor's rate on his lumber. And he wants to pay this white kid more so the kid's really happy and stays with him. And when he's in buying his next big bulk order of lumber, he can say to the that vendor, um, oh yeah, hey, by the way, you know, your your nephew works with me. Boy, he's a good kid. And and maybe this is a high value to the contractor. Who knows? None of my business. So long story short, again, my buddy did nothing wrong. Nobody did anything wrong here. And I think in looking through the problem, we've kind of proven that. Do you disagree? Um, and if so, I would love to see your comments below. If it's just feels like, well, I just feel everybody should, well, no, I don't care about feelings. But if you have a logical, rational, you know, based on the basic rules of argument, if you have a good rational argument, I would love to hear it because yeah, I could be wrong.